Hi, George here with another Photoshop Elements for Beginners project. This time we'll be using Photoshop Elements to do a fade to transparent background effect. Taking this cat picture here and converting that over into a card template, just like that, kind of fun stationary. And notice that by using a couple of layers here inside of Photoshop Elements, we have a nice fade background effect here, but it's not fading where the cat is, but just in behind the cat. Okay, so now see how this quick and easy project is handled. So for this, we'll start off with a brand new file. I'll just close this one down. Get that out of the way, there we go. So here's the basic image. And we'll first download this image from my favorite site, Pixabay. And let's go over there now. And here we go. Pixabay is a great site for finding copyright free and public domain images. They're all free to use. Now you can get an account here. The account is free. It just makes downloading a little bit easier and faster. I have an account. So I'll be logging into that for this download. And here's the actual page I found. This is the image I found for this. And this is just looking for cats yawning and cats smiling and things like that. And I found this kind of fun picture. Now again, I'm logged in right now. You see my login right up here. Click on free download. Choose your size. We'll be using this 1920 by 1280 and then choose download. And right at that point, if you're not logged in with an account, you just get one of those CAPTCHA screens where you have to match a couple of pictures and it will then give you the download. And I'll put this into my projects folder right here. Choose save. And there we go. We now have the picture. Okay, let's go back over to Photoshop Elements. And I'll close this down here. And then let's open the one that we just downloaded. So that's file and come down to open right here. Or just use that big open button right there. Either one. Same thing. Enter in my projects folder. And there is the image right there. Choose open. And we now have our image. Now I have this in here as a floating window, as you can see right here. I'll just dock that window. We don't need that for this project. But it is useful to have sometimes. So if you want to get that set up, just go up to the edit menu, come down to preferences right here and general. And it's just that checkbox right there, allow floating documents in expert mode. That's all that is. Okay. We now need to do a couple of things here. First, we need to have a new file at a nice standard print page file size. Go up here to file, come down to new and blank file. And you can choose whatever size you want in here. We have US paper international paper photo. I'm just going to use the default Photoshop elements size for now. I have my width set at six and height at four, which means it's wider instead of taller. Resolution of 300, which is your printing resolution. Choose OK. If you don't have floating windows, it would just come in like that, just docked like that. And that's fine. Let's now go down here to the photo bin. We can now see the other picture right down here in the photo bin. Grab the picture and drag it up here to place it into this image. Now this comes in as a smart object. You see the little smart object icon right down here, bottom right hand corner. That's just fine for this project. You may or may not want to keep that as a smart object layer. And if you want to learn more about how to use these smart object layers, I have a whole video about that and I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, we now need to flip this cat image left to right. So up here to the image menu, come down to rotate and then down here, flip layer horizontal. There we go. And let's push that cat back over here, almost to that edge, right about there. I think that looks pretty good. We now want to hide most of what's in here, but I want to do this in a couple of ways. I want to have my fading to transparent happening behind the cat's face without fading out the cat's face itself. So for that, we'll go up here, right click on the name of the layer and then duplicate layer, choose OK. And let's hide this background there just for a moment. We'll come back to that. On this layer here, we're going to make a selection of the cat. Let's grab our zoom control and this fit screen right here. Just get it as large as we can. And then come down to your selection tools and I have mine set for the quick selection tool. And here's the brush size, you can see it right there. It's a little large. I'm going to bring that down to about half of that, down to 25. That's a better size. And then just make a selection inside of the cat. Doesn't need to be perfect. We're going to be cleaning up that edge. And that gets most of the cat right here. Go over here, make sure we're on add to selection. We can then add in that ear that's missing, just like that. There we go. I want to remove this section over here. So let's change this to subtract. And then we'll come in and just take out that little bit. And there's the cat basically in here. Let's now refine the edge of the cat. Come down to refine edge right here. Same brush size, that's fine on this. I'll leave all these settings at their defaults. That's all we need for this particular project. And let's first start off by brushing around the edge of the cat. Do it in little short bits like this, do a bit and then let Photoshop Elements think about it, do it again, and just do it in little short segments like that. And you get a better result this way. Okay, just run over here. Let's get the teeth in there and that tongue. There we go. 
and the fur on this side. And now where these whiskers are, come in and brush into those whiskers. We're not gonna be able to keep all the whiskers, but we can get some of those. I think enough for this project, just like that. I think that's good. And come down here where it says output two, and we're gonna be outputting this to a layer mask. We're on this layer here. We'll give us a layer mask on that layer. Choose okay. There's our layer mask. And it looks kind of weird in here with kind of the darkening around there. Don't worry about that. Once I show this layer that comes back in again and that hides all that. Okay. So our cat now is on its own layer, which means we can now fade out this background in behind the cat. So let's come down to that layer right here. Go up to the layer mask button. That's this one right here where it says add layer mask. Click on that. Here's our layer mask. Now I have my colors set up black in front, white in back. Switch those to so have white in front. Then go up here to this button right here. This is our gradient button. And you should see this as white to black. That's what you want. White shows, black hides. You want this on a linear gradient. Mode is normal, opacity is 100%, everything else looks fine. And then come about someplace in here in the middle of the cat, hold the shift key down, which will give you a perfectly horizontal pull, and then pull out like that. And come out just before you reach the edge of the picture. That'll be pure white at that point. And there we go, that gives us that nice fade in effect or fade out effect in behind. If you wanna have less of this stuff in here, I'll just do the control Z keyboard shortcut, undo that. Now for this, I want to actually remove part of this image in here on this background one. So for that, I need to take it out of being a smart object layer. So right click on the layer of here, come down to simplify layer. And notice the icon is now gone down here. We still have it up here, that's fine. It's now gone down here, which means I can then delete part of this image just to clean things up. Let's grab the rectangular marquee tool. I'm on rectangle, that's fine. Come just outside, upper right-hand corner up here. And then pull the marquee down like that. And let's just bring it about that far. That's pretty good. And then use the delete key just to remove that. And then control D to deselect. That's all we actually need in here. Okay, now we're back on our layer over here. Just click to the layer mask side. And we'll go back here to our gradient tool. Same thing, come into the middle of the cat, hold the shift key down and pull it out until you're almost to that line, but not quite, let go. And there we go, it now fades away. Notice that our whiskers are looking good in here. Some are a little bit dark, but that's fine. We'll be hiding that real soon. So that takes care of that bit. It's a little weird right down here. That is from this layer up here. Go here to the layer mask side. I wanna show just a little bit of this. So white shells, we're on white, grab our paintbrush. And there's a brush, that's okay. I'm just gonna paint in here just a little bit right on the layer mask. And it brings some of that back in just like that. It just looks a bit more natural down there. Okay, that's good. Let's now come down to our background layer. We're gonna change the background layer. And for this, come down to graphics. And in here, here's our backgrounds. We have it. We have backgrounds, frames, graphics, shapes, and text. We're on backgrounds. And I'll use this one right here, right at the very top of the list. Notice that some of these have a little blue triangle on them. That means that this has not been downloaded yet from Adobe. If you need that one, just double click. It will then download. So make sure you have internet access. I've already downloaded this one, so I'll just, just double click on that. Brings that back in as our background. And there we go. There's our nice looking card or stationary template in here where we have the cat looking great. Our new background fades in behind the cat just like that. Real nice effect. Let's see how it looks on our layers. There we go, so there's a new background layer. If you wanna use a different background in here, make a copy of this background layer, right click, duplicate layer, choose okay, hide that one, that's this look, come back down to the background layer, come down to graphics again, and then choose a different background. Let's just try something else. I'm sticking with the lighter colors in here just because they think they work better for stationary. Let's see what this looks like. There we go, I don't really like that that much. I'm not a real big gingham fan. Let's see what else we have. I want something that's kind of papery. Let's check this one out right here. Not too bad. So there you go. Now if we go back here to layers again, we now have two different layers. I can try each one. There's that one and this one. I kind of prefer this. I think our colors match better in there. And if you found this project useful, why not let me know by buying me a coffee? You can do that by clicking on that thanks button right down there, just below the bottom right hand corner of the video. Make sure to check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements videos, and also take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. It really is the best way to learn how to use this program, and I'll see you next time.